Breaking out the mold from previous releases, Google took to the stage during its Google I.O. developer conference to announce a new version of Android, dubbed simply Android L. In October, the name was finally released as Lollipop and given the distinction of Android 5.0. The name comes from the Android naming convention that goes in an alphabetical order where L would follow the previous release, KitKat, which starts with the letter K. The difference this time around being that the Google released certain parts of the OS ahead of time under the Android L, named to get into the developer's hand and release the naming later. The big news for Android L is the change to the way it looks and is going well beyond the mobile phones to tablets, TV screens, watch and even the car. The new material design is strange in that it bucks a trend at the moment, yes, it's flat, but it's heavily based on making every animation, every ripple, every shadow look real, which is something that most brands are shying away from. Google tells us this feel more intuitive, which means that there will be shadow gradients, 3D tiles that slide over one another and most importantly, access for developers to use this for themselves on their apps. The idea of above, remove the fragmented way Android looks and bring consistency to the app world no matter what device you are on. Roboto font has been updated too, so everything from watch to TV to mobile looks the same. Every animation on screen will be followed to connect to one another, so there's no teleportation between apps. The home, back and the multitasking window buttons on Android has been redefined too. And overall, this is a massive step towards for a cleaner, more intuitive and a minimalistic version of Google's mobile platform. Lollipop isn't all about looks, it will also include lots of clever new features. Personalized unlocking is one of our favorites. Essentially, it makes your smartphone or tablet search for familiar Bluetooth gadgets, Wi-Fi networks, locations and even voice imprints to deactivate any lock screen protection, letting you jump straight into your phone when it knows you're nearby. If the device cannot detect any of these metrics, anyone trying to use it will be presented with the standard lock screen. The recent apps page will become the recent content page, displaying all your content in one list of Google Now style card. You'll be able to jump between apps and the web with the links in the Google search results jumping straight from the browser into the relevant part of an app. Although not strictly built into Android 5.0 Lollipop, Google will be also be giving its mobile web pages and search and overall in time from its release. The material design will be carried across along with smooth animation and a silky interface. Google will be updating its stock Android keyboard for Android 5.0 Lollipop, adding more personalization and scrapping the individual tile keys. Instead, each letter will sit on a flat background, which will make it easier for those with a larger finger and thumbs to type quickly. Also set to arrive are a do no disturb mode, which automatically deactivates all notifications and audio during set time. Yeah.